Ellsbury from Acrylic Car Paintings. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna work with these paints, tempera paints and neon paints, like that one, and balloons, latest balloons. I'm gonna start with this neon purple, and I'm gonna put all the colors in the description box for you guys. Directly from the bottle on a canvas that uh, I'd already used and I did not like how it dried because it's too dark. So I'm just gonna use it as a background. So directly from the bottle, I am using the neon paint. Unlike other videos, I will say that uh, other artists use medium on their paints. I am just using it directly just because I wanted to show you guys that um, it can be done like that too. So, so I decided to start with a darker color and now I am going to use the tempera orange to mix with the purple neon. And that's gonna be the first layer of colors that I'm gonna use. Again, directly from the bottle, these uh, tempera paints are already fluid enough that are perfectly okay to use like that. I have to say, this technique is um, less messier. We use a lot less paint than other techniques. So, and it can be done with uh, children as well. So I'm really, really excited about that. I really like the designs that um, they come out. Now I have my balloon and with the bottom of the balloon, I'm going to pretty much smash. Remember that um, hammer technique? Well, kind of like that, but since I didn't like the way it smashed, it, it, it looked, now I'm going to put the balloon and then in the paint and then kind of use a circular motion to create the flowers like design in it. See, it's a lot of fun guys, I have to tell you. Lots and lots of fun. It's very easy to use and I like how it turns out. Now I'm gonna use the tempera yellow to complement the orange and contrast the purple. And the same thing, I'm gonna put it in different spots in my canvas, directly from the bottle. Yes, I know I've said that, but I wanna make it clear. And uh, you guys can do whatever you guys want. This is just uh, the way I chose to do mine. And now I'm using a satin orange, this is a neon color, to create the luminescent effect. Oh, uh, it's, it's re I'm really excited about how this one's gonna turn out. And now that you know guys that Fall is one of my favorite seasons because I love fall colors. So really excited about this. And uh, same thing, I'm combining these two colors. They're the lighter colors that I love for last. And now my handy balloon. And I'm gonna start smashing that paint and then doing a circular motion. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, I love it. What do you think? Do you like it? You willing to try it? I mean, this is this would be really fun to do with kids and it dries really fast, okay? I like it so far. So now I'm just gonna use the leftover paint in my balloon to make little soft designs in the black. That way it's just not plain black on top. See, it gives it a little more of a shadow kind of effect. Now I'm gonna clean my balloon and save it for another time. 
and I'm gonna let my uh, painting dry. Now I'm gonna add black paint on the flowers, the center of the flowers. You can use toothpicks, but I'm gonna use this little handy tool here, and I am going to add them at the center of the yellow to make some contrast, but also to complement the background. See, it looks like this. You see those little dots in there? They're so cute. Okay, that's how it looks. So if this video has helped you guys in anything, um, I will invite you to give me a like and um, to join me from future videos, subscribe to my channel and press the notification bell. Okay, now it's all finished, all dried, all shiny. I used the Rust-Oleum 2X uh, clear gloss to finish it. I always get asked this question, what do I use? And this is how it turned out. I love how that yellow looks like luminescent. I really, really like how it turned out, guys. Very happy with this uh, painting. I cannot say poor. <laughs> Uh, with this painting and um, I hope you guys like it too and I hope you give it a try come and uh, share your work in my um, group and let's celebrate colors together till next time keep painting